Hi, my name is Betsy Chassie. I am first and foremost a mom. I have two awesome kids. I'm a documentary filmmaker. I'm a writer. I'm a teacher. And I'm an all-around hot girl in a pink jacket. Betsy I love because like a strange, Betsy just tells it how it is. She really loves to turn things on its head and challenge your ideas about life. A book for anybody that might be going through a life altering experience, something that you need to rise sort of from the ashes from. Betsy, welcome. Hi, thanks for having me. Give us the, uh, the lowdown on how you came to write this book, Tipping Sacred Cows. Well, you know, uh, we all have a moment in our life when it brings us to our knees and we hit, we hit a crisis. And for me, this book is about uh, starting with the divorce. You know, I was married for 10 years. I had the life, I had the, you know, the husband, the home, the cars, the kids, all of that. And what ultimately happened is it came crashing down. I had to change my own belief system yeah. about my body mm -hmm. because I was going to model for her right. what it meant to love your body. And so, you know, I started being naked in front of the mirror with her and po poking at my squishies and just <laughs> loving my body. But I got divorced at 41 uh, years old. And uh, it was scary because I had two very small kids and I had kind of left my career behind so that I could be a housewife. Um, and so all of a sudden I was financially responsible for these two children. I think that for me, you know, one of the hardest things about having a baby, having my first baby, was giving up that, that practice, that morning time. Because, you know, babies don't really nope. follow a schedule. I mean, you try as much to get them. I love that. Try to get your baby on a schedule. Like, yeah, right. That's really <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Please, right? So my book is called Tipping Sacred Cows. And essentially, a sacred cow is a belief or an idea or a philosophy that we hold up against criticism. And we have a tendency to uh, have these beliefs about who we are, a perfect wife, perfect mother, uh, perfect PTA mom, whatever you want to be, and we try to live up to those. And oftentimes we feel like a failure. So for me, I had to just take a step back. Okay, I'm divorced. I'm now going to be a single mom. How, how do I create that life for myself and make it feel wonderful and successful? I'm de my daughter is going into preteen which clearly means she's, uh, uh, she's eliminating happiness for a while, apparently. Right. Um, <laughs> all she's going to be is really pissed off at everyone who talks to her. I have found in my own life that when I let go of the mask, of being the cool bleep girl, of being the filmmaker, of being the mom with the nice car and the nice house, or all of those things, when I got really connected to my heart and who I was, and I started just sharing that with everyday people, I really felt connected for the first time in my life. For me, getting in the car for an hour and a half without my children is like going to the spa. For my, right. yeah. Yeah. my book is a lot about this tendency to have three easy steps to the solution. Right. Like, we're going to be in a rush. Like, if you do these five things, everything will be great. You, divorce is hard, and it's going to take time. Give yourself time to process. That doesn't mean to wallow in your misery and to become the victim for the next 20 years. Do the work and give yourself the time to process. And that's really what my book is about for me, my process of how I sort of found, oh, I can be, I, I am happy, I can do this. You know, that was a great period of my life and it doesn't mean that it's gonna define the rest of my life. And I can have, a, I can have fun, my kids can be happy. Wow, this is great.